Well, we made it on another train. This one's going to take us to Madrid. Oh, we are getting some views. This train is incredible. It's so light and bright. This is going to be nice. We didn't have time for breakfast this morning, so I'm going to go find the cafeteria and get a coffee and a tea. Hola! Un café solo, por favor. Un tea, por favor. Gracias. No. Three hours into this train ride, everything is going really well. William hasn't slept or anything, but it's been pretty easy to entertain him. Yeah. Great views, lots of sheep, lots of cows, loads of space to run about. train station exit you don't want when you've got a baby you've just got to sleep <laughs> but here we are now we're in Madrid but we don't really know what part of town we are in we're looking for a little cafe a place to sort of sit while William sleeps and come up with a plan we just found a little cafe then had a couple of sandwiches William's still asleep we've decided to um, go back to the station and get another train on to Valladolid. I bet Madrid is really cool and I'd love to stay here sometime when we've got more time but I think both of us are just slightly intimidated by a city this size when we've only got one night there. I feel like I need weeks or just to live here for a bit to get a real grasp on it. Yeah. I don't really be doing this but it's easier than my cat in the lift. And, uh, 30, so we just need to go and get tickets. We have a system here where you get a ticket, like a meat counter at Morrison's. You get a ticket and then, so there's no queuing. It's like you get one of these and then it comes up like when it's your turn. But I think that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> William's getting restless in the ticket office, so I've just come to this little cafe to let him have a little run around. Three euros fifty for this bottle of water. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Now we're just having a little wander around the station while Joe waits for a ticket number to get called. Travelling with a toddler, it takes a bit of getting used to, but it's not nearly as hard as I thought it was gonna be. 
I thought we were going to be in for some absolute disasters. It's mostly about distraction, keeping him fed and hydrated. Pretty good lessons for life, really. You want to go and see Mummy? But also, I think William's just a pretty good travel companion in general. Also, it's quite nice to be hanging out with William who doesn't quite understand anything we're saying in countries where we don't quite understand anything that anybody else is saying. Kind of puts us all in the same level. Back in the queue. Joe had gone to the wrong ticket machines, so he printed out a different ticket. So now we've gone to the right ticket machines, printed out a new ticket, and we're back at the beginning of the queue. I'm waiting here. Joe's gone off with William. We went to that ticket machine when we should have gone to this ticket machine. That ticket machine prints you off the wrong ticket. And then you go and see the wrong person who can't help you. So now we've gone to the right ticket machine, printed ourselves off a new ticket, and now we're at the back of the queue. I'm just waiting here for my number. Come on, 265. We're getting close. Next one, next yeah. up on that, in that genre of ticket. <laughs> Solo single. Muchas gracias. Cool, we got tickets. Our train's in half an hour. We'll be in Valladolid by this afternoon. Cool. Do, 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 do. Uh, come on, don't touch that. Let's go. Picked a flower for him. So that's keeping him interested. Flower. Flower. <laughs> I feel like he's really distracted by stuff that's going on. And um he's just like enjoying tottering around new places. He just goes with whatever. He's a lesson in going with the flow. Yeah. We're just searching out our Airbnb. Here we are in our home for the day. 
Doesn't it just seem really normal as soon as we had checked in? Yeah, yeah. It's amazing how quickly that becomes normal, isn't it? It's yeah. like, oh right, this is like as relaxed as it gets. <laughs> We're going to just change the channel. Uh, We're looking here at the anal gland of the dog. <laughs> It's about five o'clock, way too early for a Spanish dinner, way too late for Spanish lunch, but we're gonna see what we can find. Incredible tortilla. I think. Oh. You can tell it's good because it's got it's all soft. It's like scrambled eggs in the middle. And it's still like just warm. It's delicious. This has got to be so quick because of the camera battery, but basically I want to say traveling with William is just fun. And uh, that's all for this one. Thanks very much. See you on the next one. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. That was real squeaking the last out of the camera battery. At least that's what I thought I was doing, but now it's lasting for a little bit longer than I thought that it would. But yeah, just because we've been talking about the truth of traveling with a toddler, I just thought I'd better say it's super fun traveling with William. He, he makes things fun. He doesn't want to wear his shoes in public, but he makes Yay. things fun. I'm just editing the next video, but also this is just a PS. We forgot to say this is our last night in Spain. Adios. <laughs> We're really excited for the next bit. I'm excited for a little petit déjeuner. Oh, there's a clue. Uh, of course, I'm. <laughs> I'm biblioteca. A baguette. <laughs> a baguette. It's getting racist. This is really good by then this time. Toodles. Bye.